below. In the previous videos you learned how to solve some forecasting problems using naive, moving average, weighted average and the exponential smoothing method. Here, I will show you how to make the forecast using data having trend. This method was explained in the fourth video of this series. Before starting the first problem, if you did not do yet, subscribe and activate the alarm to be notified with the new videos. The first problem. The demand data for the previous nine periods are given in this table. Plot the data on a graph, and verify visually that a linear trend line is appropriate. Develop a linear trend equation for the following data. Then use the equation to predict the next two values of the series. Let us start solving by plotting the data. From the graph it is clear that the data are increasing with a linear trend. To develop the linear trend in the form Ft equal A plus Bt. We have to find A and B using these two equations. To do this, two more columns should be added to the table. One contains t to the power 2 and the other contains t multiplied by y. So, calculate t to the power 2 and t multiplied by y for each period. After that add a new row at the bottom contains the summation of each column. Calculation of sigma t result in 45. Sigma y is 488. Sigma t to the power 2 is 285. And sigma t multiplied by y is 2545. We know that n is the number of periods, in the current problem it is 9. Well, substitute in the equation of b. b equal 9 multiplied by 2545 minus 45 multiplied by 488 all divided by 9 multiplied by 285 minus 45 multiplied by 45 equal 1.75. Now, substitute in the equation of a. A equal 488 minus 1.75 multiplied by 45 all divided by 9 equal 45.47. Known the values of A and B enables us to construct the trend line equation to be Ft equal 45.47 plus 1.75 t. Now we can use this equation to calculate the forecast of the coming two periods which are period 10 and 11. To find F10 substitute in the trend equation by T equal 10. So, F10 equal 45.47 plus 1.75 multiplied by 10 equal 62.97 approximately equal 63. So, the forecast of period 10 is 63. Similarly, F11 equal 45.47 plus 1.75 multiplied by 11 equal 64.72 approximately equal 65. So, the forecast of period 11 is 65. Let me now show you how to solve such problem using Microsoft Excel. Open new Excel file and copy the given data in the spreadsheet. To plot these data, Select them then select the insert menu. In the ribbon look for the scatter icon, here it is, and click the little arrow to the right. Another menu will appear to you select the top left option which is scatter. I will do some modification to make the graph looks better, by changing the y axis scale, adding titles to the chart axis, removing the chart legend and the chart title. Yes, looks better. As we concluded before the data are increasing with linear trend. Microsoft Excel has a great option to find the appropriate trend line and directly find its equation. Let us do this. Simply click the plus sign to the right of the chart. A pop-up menu will appear and at the bottom of this menu there is the trend line option, check this option. You see the proposed trend line is added to the graph. Go back to the pop-up menu move the mouse over the trend line option. An arrow will appear at the right. Click this arrow to see another pop-up menu. Select more options from this menu. A new menu will appear to the right of the sheet contains three different tapes. The first one is used to format the trend line. 
the second is used to add effects to the trend line. While the third contains the trend line options. Select this one. Here we can select the trend line equation type. The linear equation is the default one, but you can select any according to the shape of the graph represents your data. We will keep it as it is and scroll down and select display equation on chart. Amazing, here is the equation. We obtain it with a few clicks without any calculation. Now, we can use this equation as before to calculate the forecast for periods 10 and 11 as before. Another way to find the coefficients of the linear equation is to use the scientific calculator. I will demonstrate this method using Casio FX991 ES plus calculator. We need to work in the statistics mode, to switch to this mode, press mode button, this menu will appear. Statistics mode is number 3, so press the 3 button. We need to work with the linear equation y equal a plus bx. Which is number 2, so press the 2 button. Two columns will appear to you to enter different values for x and y. Let us start with x. Enter values from 1 to 9. Press the 1 button then equal button. Press the 2 button then equal button. Press the 3 button then equal button. And so on until x equal 9. Then using the arrow key to switch to the y column to enter the y values. The first value of y is 44 so type 44 then press enter. The second is 52 so type 52 then press enter. And so on until we enter the 9 values of y. Once finish entering the data, we need to store then by pressing the AC button to store and process the data. To find the values of A and B press shift then 1 to view this menu. The regression is number 5 so hit the 5 button. To obtain the A value press 1 then equal. Of course, we got the same value of 45.47. Press shift 1 again, then 5 after that 2 to obtain the value of B hit equal, the value of B is 1.75. Well with these few steps you can easily find the coefficients of the linear equation without need to do many calculations. Let us solve another example using Microsoft Excel and the calculator. Freight car loadings data for 18 weeks at a busy port are as follows. Determine a linear trend line for expected freight car loadings. Use the trend equation to predict expected loadings for weeks 20 and 21. The manager intends to install new equipment when the volume exceeds 800 loadings per week. Assuming the current trend continues, the loading volume will reach that level in approximately what week? Let us start solving. Open new Excel file and copy the given data in the spreadsheet. To plot these data, select them then select the insert menu. In the ribbon look for the scatter icon, here it is and click the little arrow to the right and select scatter. Modify the graph to looks better, by changing the y-axis scale, and adding titles to the chart axis. Yes, looks better. The graphical presentation of the given data shows that it is increasing with linear trend. Now, let us add the trend line and its equation. Simply click the plus sign to the right of the chart then check the trend line option. You see the proposed trend line is added to the graph. Hover again over the trend line option and then click this arrow to see the pop-up menu. Select more options from this menu. In the new menu appear to the right of the sheet select third tape. Scroll down and select display equation on chart. Amazing, here is the equation. We obtain it with a few clicks without any calculation. The equation is y equal 18.996 x plus 208.48. Let us try the scientific calculator to find the coefficients of the linear equation. Switch to the statistics mode by pressing mode button, then the 3 button, then the 2 button. Now enter the values of x. Enter values from 1 to 18. Press the 1 button then equal button. Press the 2 button then equal button. 
and so on until x equal 18. Then using the arrow key to switch to the y column to enter the y values. The first value of y is 220 so type 220 then press enter. The second is 245 so type 245 then press enter. And so on until we enter the 18th values of y. Press the AC button to store and process the data. After that press shift then 1 then hit the 5 button. To obtain the A value press 1 then equal. Of course, we got the same value of 208.48. Press shift 1 again, then 5. After that 2 to obtain the value of B. Hit equal, the value of B is 18.996. So, the required trendline equation is. FT equal 18.996 T plus 208.48. We solved the first question by determining the trendline equation. The second question is to use the trend equation to predict expected loadings for weeks 20 and 21. Well, let us substitute by t equal 20 to find the forecasted or expected loading for week 20. F20. F20 equal 18.996 multiplied by 20 plus 208.48 equal 588.4 approximately equal 588. So, the expected loading of week 20 equal 588. The same for week 21, substitute by T equal 21 to find the forecasted or expected loading for week 21. F21. F21 equal 18.996 multiplied by 21 plus 208.48 equal 607.4 approximately equal 607. So, the expected loading of week 21 equal 607. The third question is. The manager intends to install new equipment when the volume exceeds 800 loadings per week. Assuming the current trend continues. The loading volume will reach that level in approximately what week? Here we have FT and it is required to find T. Using the same equation, substitute FT by 800. So, 800 equal 18.996 multiplied by T plus 208.48. Solve this equation for T results in T equal 31.1 approximately equal 31. The loading is expected to reach 800 in week 31. In this video two trendline problems were solved using different ways. The next video solves more problems covering trend adjusted smoothing approach. So, keep following us and do not forget to subscribe and activate the alarm to be notified with the new videos. Goodbye.